Unlike a virulent phage, a temperate phage, such as phage lambda, does not necessarily cause lysis after entering a host cell. Instead, the temperate phage may embark on a pathway called lysogeny. In lysogeny, the phage first attaches to its host and injects its genetic material inside the bacterial cell. Linear double-stranded DNA is then circularized. The circularized genome then recombines into that of the host by site-specific recombination of DNA. The integrated phage genome is called a prophage. Lysogeny is a condition in which the phage genome is replicated along with that of the host cell as the host reproduces. Implicit in the term lysogeny is the ability of such a strain to generate a lytic burst of phage. The regulatory switch between lysis and lysogeny responds to environmental cues, that is, how likely is it that the host cell will survive and continue to propagate the phage genome under present environmental conditions. If the cell's growth is strong, it is more likely that the phage DNA will remain inactive, whereas events that threaten host survival will trigger a lytic burst. At the beginning of the lytic pathway, the phage genome directs its own excision from the host genome. As it exits, it circularizes again. A viral DNA cleaves the host cell's DNA. Using information in the viral genome, the cell synthesizes capsid proteins. The cell replicates the lambda phage DNA by a rolling circle method, making many copies that become packaged into the capsids. A phage enzyme then lyses the cell and the progeny phage spill out, ready to infect another host cell. 